In this problem, we're told a 5 kilogram box slides 4 meters across the floor before coming to rest. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the floor and the box if the box had an initial speed of 3 meters per second? So the first thing you always want to do when doing these problems is draw what's going on. So in this problem, we have a 5 kilogram box. We know its initial speed is going to be 3 meters per second. We know it's going to travel 4 meters before coming to a rest. So that's what's going on here. And what we're trying to do is solve for the coefficient of kinetic friction. So we're trying to find mu sub k. So let's just write given. We're going to say mu sub k equals question mark. So it, it, we know we're solving for mu sub k. So somehow we're going to have to find the force of friction. Because the only way you can solve for this is by knowing this formula. Force of friction is equal to mu sub k times f sub n. So if we want to find mu sub k, right, we have to know the force of friction and divide it by the normal force. So um, the hard part about this problem is just solving for the force of friction. We know the normal force, right? In this case, we know um, the, the forces in the wire are just going to be mg and then f sub n going up, which basically means f sub n equals mg, but you should know that by now. But yeah, so basically the normal force is just equal to mg in this case. So um, mu sub k is going to be equal to f sub f, force of friction, divided by mg. So the mass is 5 times g, which is 9.81. So uh, what we, we got to do is solve for the force of friction. So how are we going to do that? So the way you solve for this, it's going to be a little bit complicated, but we can do it. So we know force is equal to mass times, or sorry, the sum of the forces. Well, they mean the same thing, but the sum of the forces equal mass times acceleration. So if we can find the mass of the system, in this case it's 5, we're given that, and we can multiply by the acceleration throughout this interval, that is going to give us the force. And in this case, the only force we have acting on it is the force of friction, right? So basically, the force of friction is just going to be equal to the mass times acceleration. So uh, we can solve for the force, uh, force of friction by doing this. So uh, yeah, we need to find the acceleration though, because we know the mass, but we don't know the acceleration. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that using the variables they give us. We know the initial velocity, we know uh, the distance it travels, and we know the final velocity. So we can use kinematics in order to solve. So the kinematic equation we're going to do, and you should be pretty good at these by now, but we're going to use this formula, v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x. So if we plug in our variables in this problem, we're going to be able to solve for a. Because we have v sub 0, we have v, and we have delta x. So let's go ahead and do that. So v we know is 0. 0 squared is still 0. Is equal to v sub 0 squared, which is 3. 3 squared is 9. Plus 2 times a times delta x, which is 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. So it's 8a. We're going to minus the 9. So minus 9 is equal to 8a, and then divide by 8. And you'll find that a is going to be equal to um, negative 1.125. But when you do this, it, it doesn't really matter if it's negative. Um, so we can just ignore the sign here because we just need the magnitude of the acceleration when doing this. Um, so yeah, you're just going to plug in f of f equals the mass 5 times the acceleration we just solved for. So I'm just going to plug in the magnitude, so 1.125. But yeah, so do 5 times 1.125. And you'll find the force of friction is equal to 5.625. Keep in mind this is newtons because it's force. And now what we have is the force of friction, and we can just plug it into what we solved for in the beginning. So mu sub k is just going to be equal to 5.625 divided by 5 times 9.81. But yeah, so you want to go ahead and do this, and you'll find that it equals 0.11467, which is about 0.115. And yeah, keep in mind there's no units when you solve for the coefficient of kinetic or static friction. But yeah, so 0.115, that's going to be your answer. And looking at our options here, we can see C is the exact same. So the answer to this problem is going to be C. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.